Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie with Prairie Paper Crafts. I want to welcome you back to my channel. We're going to be, or I'm going to be putting together today the carts from the Christmas train from Treasure Box Designs. I'm going to do a little more working and less talking so I don't lose my voice. But I quick wanted to share with you. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I apologize. I wanted to quick share with you. What I did here, I ended up putting uh, ruby red glitter drops from Nuvo for his nose and I put it on the little wheel here. And it looks white here because, I'm not gonna take this all the way up, but I did put acetate behind the little window back here. Oh, I felt like I dropped something, I'm sorry. And then I did put the little rhinestones on the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on the wreath. So uh, if we're gonna go ahead and get started with the two carts, I'm going to do the last cart first. And on both the carts, I did in Boston like I did on the uh, train. I don't know if it shows real well in the camera. Um, I put the candy canes together because I wasn't too smart. I cut both the carts at once, so I had duplicate candy cane pieces and I had to go back and separate them out which was a lot easier than I thought but it took a little bit of time. So I've got those done <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Just going to put the top on first. <clears throat> Let's see, I kind of want these. Now I'm going to use my mat here. And I'm down a little bit off the cart, off the uh, frame. I, I, I understand, but I'm just trying to kind of see what I'm doing here. So. There we go. <clears throat> and I will match them up. I'll finish one and then I will match them up so they're both about the same height. But I'm going to get that out of the way and I'm going to put the little wheels together. I'm just going to put all the pieces together that I can and then I will <clears throat> come back and assemble it. I wish there was a some kind of a tool that you could use to center things. Um, you know when you're paper piecing I would grab it I so I could get things centered better. I'm not good at eyeballing all the time. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, and oh, I was going to say I should have another one. Each cart has two wheels, so. I don't know what happened last week, if it was just a holiday and I just was not, well, I don't feel great now, but I mean, I don't know what happened. I just could not get into <clears throat> even paper piecing. It was crazy. And now I'm gonna do a few Christmas things, but I'm ready to move on to, oh, not really so much winter projects. I probably some scrapbook layouts, but actually Valentine's Day. I <clears throat> want to do some stuff, so hopefully I'll get in gear and do that. This is the first part that goes on the uh, bag here, Santa's bag. It's actually an elf in the cart. But... <clears throat> So just, and it might go over a little bit, I don't remember. 
on the edges and that's okay. But it just goes in there. And then we have the tie. And it's, if you notice that first, I call it bump in there, so the, uh, we're going to put it in there. So I don't want too much glue on here. <clears throat> Okay, and then there is a little tag that goes under this, and I'm going to put that right here, and then there's the ribbon center, and I'll put that on top. <clears throat> Oh, I don't want glue all the way on there just looking at the picture I'm just gonna put it just about just like maybe a quarter of an inch down it's going to go over the cart on the outside the tag is so <clears throat> I know it goes together, I just forget that there's certain things that I have to do first, so. And this tag actually goes down a little bit. So I'm gonna redo this. If I need to, I'll just glue it back on once I get it inside the uh, the cart. I'm going to work on the gifts here and get this going the right direction. Just putting some glue on there and trying to just center it the best I can. I started, I center it and have it line up at the bottom. The top will be taken care of. <clears throat> now, there are two green pieces. You want the curved piece for the box lid, okay? The, the other straight piece will go on the other gift box. And then we have a red bow and I put it behind and that's the way it shows on the uh, photo also and that gives it the illusion that is on top of the box if that makes sense now you could certainly cut these boxes out of a printed pattern all of my piece or colors are pretty much the same so that's why I'm just going with um, solid colors today. By the time I get patterned paper on, it will, I'll be happy that I used just plain. And I'm not sure I'm keeping this. I never know when I'm, you know, when I'm making a piece or a set, I never know if I'm going to gift it or if I'm going to use it. I just, you know, whatever I decide. I was going to say, I knew I had a ribbon or a bow here for this. I'm trying to line it up as best I can with the center of the ribbon on the present. So there are my two presents. Before I go any further, I'm bringing my engine back in and 
it's easier to, for me to work with things when they are they're not untied and everything's not in there. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna actually go, I think that this will be easier backwards. I'm trying to line up the engine, the wheels with my cart. I just thought of I should put my spacer on for my wheels first. I think that would be smart. Oh, a little more it's gonna come out a bit. It's early for me, I apologize and I you know, didn't sleep real well last night, so I gotta figure out what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna just line them up here on the grid line so I can at first start this to get them straight. Okay, and then I will bring back in my engine and I'll just go up a little bit and uh, let's see we're going to line the wheels up on the bottom not the other part and <clears throat> okay I'm going to put some glue on the top here And I can go with it this way, then I don't have that big engine off to my right since I'm working on that side. So I'm trying to keep my hands out of this, I apologize. Um, so we're gonna line it up here. Best I can do. So what I did is, that's why my hand was in the way, I apologize. I was trying to hold the cart and but I lined the wheels up on a line, straight line, same as the bottom of the wheels on the engine, and then just tried to line them up on the cart between the horizontal. So hope that all made sense. So we can go ahead and get the rest of the pieces in. Now we're gonna work front to back. This piece goes in first, and then the others will go behind. So some glue on the back here and just to about here so is where I'll start and the rest of the glue on the top here will hold it okay and try to get this somewhat straight go with that now I'm gonna come back in and glue the rest of the tag down. Just put some glue in there. I don't want it flapping anywhere. And I'm looking here. So then we're gonna put in this lighter green bag. Put some glue on the back here and I'm only putting it just on that little corner and goes up fairly far. The, the bag could have gone down maybe a quarter of an inch or so but I'm gonna go with it and then I'm going to put in the candy canes and These I'm not gonna glue the back of the other bag on. Uh, let's see. Gonna go like that. Put some glue on this one and figure out where I'm putting this one. 
Yep, that's good. Now, I'm going to just put a tag of a little bead of glue on the back of my bow. I'll show you from the front what I did. Put a little bead of glue here so it holds, and then one right here on the tip. And then the other thing I have to put in is this, and I don't want a, glue, a lot of glue because it's going up a little bit, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here, and we'll glue as we need otherwise then. And then I will just put a little bit of glue on the ribbon, and we'll call it good. I got too much, so I'm probably going to have glue coming out. So that is, we'll zoom out a little bit here. That is my other cart. That's the last one. So we'll do the center one now. And we'll leave this one off to the side. And I'm going to zoom back in. I apologize. Okay, now we have the pieces for the other cart, and I'm not putting anything on the back of the eyes this time, uh, just because I don't, I don't need that. So, again, <clears throat> I'm going to work on the cart first. Do it the same way as I did last time. Okay, I want to bring this back in to get somewhat even with, okay, I'm good. I, I was just trying to get it even with where I put it on the other one. And a little too much glue here. too much glue. Okay, now find some wheels. I wish I knew the name of this pink. It's uh, a, it works very well. It really looks nice against red. And I'm gonna have to see if I have some. I'm just thinking for Valentine's Day. It's a, uh, with white, it's really pretty. Hmm. I didn't put an excess of ink on my red, um, and so I had to see once which side was which. want to get those swirls uh, lined up with the edge of the pink. They're just perfectly there. So let's see what we can do with a little elf here. I do want to mention I put the little belt together that he's holding in his hand. So this is two pieces. It's the outside piece, and I don't know if it's showing very well. It cut the um, it cut the little holes and the lines in the Cricut did that it was amazing I was really impressed and the gold I use is 65 pound weight from recollections it cuts really nice on the Cricut it's just a nice weight if you want a heavier 
gold for something it's you know it's not real heavy but it does cut good for some of this and on the back I had some just it's like copy weight gold paper that I put on it actually I think it's from a 50th wedding anniversary to be honest with you so yeah it's it's not new anymore by any means okay let's get the eyes on here this is going to be a bit of a challenge just because the head is so small and just kind of and the nose is well, the nose is fairly large, so these eyes are going, instead of curving in, they're going to curve out. And I'm just dry piecing this, like I said, because of the nose. So they need to go up a little bit. I'm gonna let him go there. Leave one here. I was just putting some glue on there, I apologize. And I think I need to curve this one a little bit. Yeah. Okay, and then find my pen. I want to do the, <clears throat> excuse me, the eyes before I do anything else. And on these, I'm doing the top eyelashes all in one stroke, just because they're really not gonna show much. And then I will do the bottom one separate. my little glue dots so my nose doesn't sink into my eyes. <clears throat> I still put glue on. I just use these two. I think I'm so used to these. I used, I try to use them with ribbon and um, what do I want to say? Trying to get some glue off here. Ribbon and like, pro, not pro cotton, baker's twine. And yeah, it um, doesn't always stick. So I usually try to use glue also. Should pay attention to what I'm doing, right? And I'll just put a little bit of more chalk. I purposely tried to do a little more ink on the edges of his pe uh, of his cheeks but it didn't work I did this late last night so it <clears throat> excuse me it's uh, bound not to well I can't get the chalk today and now I have too much we'll see yeah. I'm going to leave him rosy. I, he's a little elf. He's a little uh, mischievous, right? He needs glitter in his eyes, actually. And I chose to do his eyes green. I think they're a bluish gray in the uh, picture, and I just did green on mine. So, uh, looking to see what's. I have a two. 
I am forever losing my chalk tool and it's right in front of me. The one I used for white. Don't know how I can keep losing it, but I do. Of all the tools, that's the one I lose. All right, now, get all the rest of his pieces. We'll start with his, yeah, his ears first. And, okay. His ears actually have a little bit of a flat spot on them. That's the side that will, on this one, the flat sides are going to the inside. So that curved tip up goes out. And get the other one in here. I realize I'm a very slow paper piecer and I do not do uh, voiceovers, so you know, feel free to jump ahead. I'm sorry, I just not a perfectionist, but it's got to be right, if that makes sense. I, I'm sure it doesn't, but okay. I'm going to get his body on. He just looks like the weirdest little creature right now. Something from a horror movie or I don't know. I know he'll all come together. He just looks weird right now. Oops, it moved on me a little bit. Okay, and then I'm looking here. His hat goes behind, okay? And... Ah, the jingle bell is part of the stocking, the end of his hat. I couldn't make that out on the picture at first. Okay, and then I think what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm just kind of piecing this all out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put the green piece on the red. <clears throat> right along the bottom brim there. Kind of line it up. Okay. Okay, and then it, it's going to go at a curve. I'm just trying to think if I want to put this on. No, because this goes on his head. Okay, I'm going to put this on his head. Because this has to go in front. So. And it's just going really right toward the top of his head. And then he's going to go on like that, so. And yes, I talk to myself when I paper piece. I talk to myself when I do a lot of things. Um, just the way I learned to do things, I guess. I don't have anyone else to ask questions, so. <clears throat> Oops, and I've got, I'm gonna make sure that piece sticks out in front of, this little tail sticks out in front of his body part. Okay, now before I go any further to put the hands or anything on, 
I'm going to come back and finish the wheels so I get this all straight. And again, I'll put them, line them up here, put some glue on one part. I don't want that moving on me, so I wanted to hold it a moment. And then we'll put glue on the other part of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And make sure they're lined up and fairly even here. Okay, and then I'm going to bring, again, this card in, and I'm going to weight it down so it doesn't move too bad on me. <clears throat> kind of line this up a little bit. Maybe it'll help this time. But I'm going to put some glue on the top half of the wheels, or top third. And push this down a little bit. Now I'm coming in on the other side also. I'm going to match it up and make sure that it's fairly even that across this way since this is the last cart. That made sense for my reasoning there. Okay, now I can put my elf in here. And it's going to go down fairly far. So let's put a little bit of glue on here and <clears throat> here. What you want is that hat part to go about just right at the, this little part of the hat to go just right at the top of the cart and then kind of center it as best you can. Sorry, my arm is in the way there. But that little tip there and then put the jingle bell on here and that's the end of his hat. Instead of having like a little pom pom, it's the jingle bell. Okay, and then we're going to come in and put the hands in. And they're up kind of high. And before I do that, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put, get this in here, I'm going to do this first. So. Just put some glue along and I did use glitter for this in case you're wondering I don't know if it'll sparkle very much on the camera so it's easier for me to do it this way than on once it's on so Pretty easy stuff for this part of it, the hand. <clears throat> Again, we'll put some glue on, and then when I'm done, I will show you the train put together, or how it looks. It doesn't have any joining pieces between the carts and the engine, which is nice if you you know, wanted to put it on a on a two-page layout because it could go either two or one. So, and this will cover up the jingle ball a little bit. That's fine. And 
do just a little bit of gel work here. Just kind of looking I'm gonna leave his hands alone. I just don't, I'm not a big fan of a lot of gel work, so. Uh, each, you know, everybody does things different. That's not what I'm getting at, but I just, yeah, I'm just leave it alone. <clears throat> I need to put the lid on the glue this quick, do a little bit more of my Chalk. I could not think of the word. Oh my goodness. I, uh, yesterday, I couldn't remember if I took some medicine and I took, I, I had, I took a double dose and that was not a good situation. So, yeah. Oh, I don't want, I want white. Ah, well, that didn't want to stick. Okay. Get, should have left the, the glue off, right? Sometimes I put too much glue on and then I don't put enough on. And... What a mess. Going to leave it. Uh, nope, got a couple spots I want to do here quick. Okay. Highlight. And on this one. Sorry, I'm probably not in frame. I apologize. I'm putting just a little bit of white uh, pan pastels in the middle there. And the eyes didn't turn out just too bad. I'm surprised. I was kind of worried looking at it, but all right. <clears throat> gonna bring, and I'm gonna leave the piece on the back of the acetate. I'm gonna just zoom out, so bear with me here. And I'm hoping they'll all fit in frame. Pretty much, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take a picture to and share it. But anyway, that is my finished train. So if you have any questions, I will try to remember to watch that the comments stay turned on this time. But otherwise, thank you all for joining me. Have an awesome day. Take care.